do you practice your kick and know that you have proper progress. So you can kick all you want, right? Heavy kick until you get tired. But how do you know if you get better? We're going to do a roundhouse kick. I'm going to stay close to the back. So your forearm touch the back. This is too close for the kicking range, by the way. But I will explain in a second. Now, square your hip and look like this. Square your hip. What you're going to do is you get on your tiptoe like this. Like that. And you're going to swing this leg forward. You do that without stepping this foot. This foot come up and then hit it. And that's all you're going to do. You don't move in, you don't step side, you should stay there. Now, you're going to throw your hip forward, get on your tiptoes, like that. Get on your tiptoes and then swing your leg forward. If I want to do it a little slower. <laughs> Puff, and come back. The purpose of that is you want to land on the heavy bag and check yourself if your foot off balance and fall forward or if your foot come back and your thumb on your heel. Or if your foot go here and it's cross back. The back's over here. I cross my feet right now. Or you forget to pivot. Hmm? Or you forget to pivot. Yeah, or you forget to pivot. If you forget to pivot, you just kick like this. It's going to put tension on your knee and your ankle. It's gonna hurt. Not that proper techniques hurt, but wrong techniques hurt. So get on your tiptoes, draw your hip forward, and land back to where you stand. Now we're going to count 10 times. How many kicks? Can you hit and land back on your fighting stance and not having to reset again? So it looked like this. I reach, I go up. Like that. So in 10 kicks, how many kicks? You come back, have regular bound, uh, stance, land on your tiptoes. If you land on your heel, don't count. Get up, get up on your toes, turn, pop, land on the ball of your foot, and go again. Go again. Go again. Go again. Ten times. 